In the second magnetism video lesson, we discussed the two kinds of magnetic dipoles: magnet and electric current loop. A magnet is a magnetic dipole with the magnetic field lines coming out of the north and going into the south. But because we can never separate north and south, no magnetic monopoles like an isolated north pole of a magnet has ever been observed in nature. Magnetic field lines would form closed loops like these. A current loop produces similar magnetic field. According to the right-hand rule, if I use my thumb to follow the current in the front, my curved forefingers will go up inside the current loop and downward outside the current loop. Since it produces magnetic field just like a magnetic dipole, a current loop is also a magnetic dipole. A magnetic dipole has a magnetic dipole moment, which represents the direction and the strength of a dipole. For direction, we use the field direction at the center to represent the direction of dipole moment. So we can draw an upward arrow to represent each of them. As for the strength of a dipole moment, the stronger the magnet, the larger the dipole moment. And the dipole moment for a current loop is current times the area of the current loop. So the larger the current, the stronger the dipole moment. The larger the loop area, the stronger the dipole moment. And when we place a magnetic dipole in a much stronger external magnetic field, the dipole will align with the external magnetic field so that the magnetic dipole moment vector aligns with the external magnetic field. By external magnetic field, we mean a magnetic field produced by some other magnet or some other current. For example, a permanent magnet like a magnetic compass is a permanent magnetic dipole, while iron filings can be induced to become induced magnetic dipoles. I'm going to use this bar magnet to produce external magnetic field for a compass and some iron filings. When I place the compass magnetic dipole in the external magnetic field, we can see that the dipole aligns with the external magnetic field which goes out of the north of the bar magnet. The same happens when I sprinkle iron filings in the external magnetic field. The filings become induced dipoles and line up along the field. We can represent the compass dipole or the iron filing dipoles with these red vectors to show how they align with the bar magnet's magnetic field.